Hey Mallory, today was prep day for the 10 teams competing in the NICL. It gave the middle school and high school mountain bikers a chance to see the course and make their strategies before taking off in the big race tomorrow morning. It was a warm, breezy autumn day as young bikers from across Nebraska made their way to Sioux City for the third competition of their season. Today's objective was to test out the route, spanning roughly five miles around the park's pond. While some enjoyed the water, the bikers were taking a good long look at a trail many were not used to. Everybody's been talking about it. It's a much different track than we've ridden anywhere else this year so far. Uh, it's got a lot of um, a lot of rooty, a lot of punchy climbs. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna throw a lot of ricers that aren't used to this type of trickiness. It's pretty cool to see the, the course, and, and I think we'll be back up here again soon. Jocelyn Poor is in her second year of racing in what they call the nickel. She explained why today's practice is necessary before the big day tomorrow. We work on passing and shouting out on your left. We work on encouraging each other. We keep on going. If someone gets hurt, we always stop. Um, we always make sure we have level pedals. Um, we mostly just correct on skills. On race day, we get serious. Jocelyn competes for Lancaster County and is coached by her dad, Jesse. He talked about how this league has grown over the years. There's been high school mountain bike racing, uh, I think for about 10 years almost, but it's become formal in the last two, and uh, Nebraska Interscholastic Cycling League formed and has been doing a great job getting more kids on bikes, getting more kids interested in this kind of creative, cool outlet for kids in Nebraska to try mountain biking. Jocelyn and her Lancaster County teammates race tomorrow morning at 1030. Coach Poor asks if anyone would like to volunteer to visit their website, and you can find that link at SiouxLandProud.com. Dylan Adams, KCAU 9 News.